Hello student, in this video I am going to start about, about sampling methods. Uh, this is a, uh, a, uh, a, a bit large topic, so I will try to complete it by two or three videos and please bear with me and again go through the topics with the book also try to correlate with that book and uh, if you have any doubt also please let me know so let's start with sampling methods so what we can learn from this one is that we can learn the reasons for sampling why need, why we need to sample or we need to develop an understanding about different sampling methods. There exist different sampling methods. We need to distinguish between probabilistic or you can say probability and non-probability based sampling. And again discuss the relative advantages and disadvantages of each this type of sampling methods. So what is research? In general we can, so, we can say that scientific research is systematic, controlled empirical and critical investigation of natural phenomena guided by theory and hypothesis about the presumed relations among such phenomena. So actually research is an organized and systematic way of finding answers to the questions. So now how can we can understand or how can we can organize those things and how can we can uh, systematically we can find those answers to those questions. So, important component of empirical research is that first there should be a problem statement. If you are going to do PhD, then this type of thing need to carry out for empirical research. Here, first one is that problem statement. Then you have to you have to create research questions from those problem statement. There might be one problem statement, and that, that if it is one, that is better. But if it is more than one problem statement, you need to create a concrete problem statement and after that from that problem what question might be arise, arise you need to find out and you need to find out what are the purposes uh, around that problem and what if you going to solve that problem what will be benefited which field will be benefited which sectors or which topics will be benefited so then you need to go through the theory regarding the problem you need to find out what are going, what are the things you are going to assume, what are things you are going to not assume, or like uh, you need to understand the whole background through the literature surveys. Then, regarding the problem, you need to find out what are the main variables and what are the hypotheses that you are going to take. After that, uh, you need to find out, you need to describe the definitions and measurement that you are going to carry. And during the research or during the solving of the problem. After that, you need to design your research, you need to design your methodologies, the steps, the procedure through which your uh, action will be carried out. Next, what are the instruments you are going to apply? How you sample out your data? Uh, and then after that, you need to analyze the data, whatever you, you are getting after that. Uh, application of uh, your methodologies and instrument upon the data, sample data, then you need to apply the data analysis process. After that, you have to conclude at some point after, about your claiming point, about your interpretation and whatever recommendation you can make regarding the problem and regarding the solution you have provided. So, here Sampling, a sample is a smaller but hopefully representative collection of units from a population used to determine truths about that population. So sample is nothing but a subset of population but it is to determine the truth about the population. Why sample? Because uh, to reduce the resource or to use the, uh, the resources efficiently like time, money and workload. If you choose a sample out of a population then these factors will be affected. And second, give results with known accuracy. So having a known accuracy regarding that sample might give you a truth assumption about the population also that can be calculated mathematically. So 
that is why sampling or you can say sample of a population is needed while doing researches the sampling frame is the list from which the potential responses respondents are drawn drawn uh, here it says that like which uh, potential uh, respondents respondents or you can say samples or instance you are going to draw out from the population or what is the sampling frame uh, that is that need to be uh, fixed so like here you can see um, what is your population of interest to whom do you want to generalize your results it might be doctors school children indians women uh, aged 15 40 years others it might be a different type of uh, generalizing uh, the thing so it is about your interest so can you sample the entire population or will it help will it be helpful so three factors that influence sample representative representativeness sample procedure sampling procedure sample size and third one is participation and when might you sample the entire population so question is that suppose you can take a subset of the population as a sample but when might you sample the entire population then the question arise and the answer will be like when your population is very small suppose your population is very small then obviously you are going to talk, you are going to take whole population and when you have extensive resources when you have suppose lots of resources to study whole population then you can take the whole population third when you don't expect a very high response suppose the response you are getting from the population is not high enough then you need to you need to take the whole population to find out the ground truth or the actual truth about the research so here you can see uh, suppose this is the map of America so who do you want to generalize to the theoretical population theoretical population is like this is a theoretical population so here this is circle this is marked here okay this is marked here there is a theoretical population and what population can you get access to you cannot get access to all the population so you need to study the population after that how can you get access to them how can you access those population that you are, can access then you need to find out the sampling frame from this population that is coming from this population and then who is in your study after that you need to ask who is in your study from using that frame you need to find out that exact sample you are needed in your research process so first this is a theoretical population suppose this portion okay suppose this portion so in from that portion you need to find out who can be accessed so that might be your study population okay then after you getting uh, to know that who, who what population can get access to then how can you get access from them to that case to that question one answer came out you need to find out the sampling frame means what type of or how you are going to frame them in a sample then after that it will give a result to this who is in your study that is the answer is the sample so that sampling frame will give you the sample so here you can see study population then here first there is target population bigger picture okay that is big whole is target population this is study population and sample is this one so that is main idea about sampling how they are related then there are various type of sampling techniques 
two main category that is probability samples or you can say random samples second one is non probability samples okay and inside those main category there are various type of suppose simple random sample systematic random sample stratified random sample multi stage sample multi phase sample cluster sample okay in non probability samples there are convenience sample purposive sample quota sample so we are going to understand each of them a bit throughout this lectures so process is that the sampling process comprises of several stages first you need to define the population of concern second specifying a sample frame or you can say a set of items or event possible to measure so how you are going to measure the data that is about framing and using that frame only you can going you are going to slice the samples from the main population so you need to find out your sampling frame specifying a sampling method or selecting items specifying a method sampling method for selecting items or events from the frame then determine the sample size then implementing the sampling plan plan is about sampling frame and sampling method then sampling and data collecting and reviewing the sampling process so population definition is that a population can be uh, defined as including all people or items with the characteristics one wishes to understand because there is very rarely enough time or money to gather information from everyone or everything in a population so the goal becomes finding a representative of the representative sample of that population obviously so note also that the population from which the sample is drawn may not be same as the population about which we actually want information open there is large but not complete overlap between these two groups due to frame issues sometimes they may be entirely separate for instance we might study rats in order to get a better understanding of human health so see there might be if you are going to understand the human health in some cases or in this type of cases we are study the rats first so that is a difference okay different sampling so that is also a different dimension about this study about sampling so to get better understanding of human health or we might study records from people born in 2008 in order to make predictions about people born in 2009 so that is that can be entirely separate things but sometimes there might be overlap also so next is about sampling frame in most straightforward case such as the sentencing uh, of a batch of material from production acceptance sampling by lots it is possible to identify and measure every single item in the population and to include any one of them in our sample however in the more general case this is not possible there is no way to identify all rats in the set of all rats where voting is not compulsory there is no way to identify which people will actually vote at a forthcoming election so you can see the uh, complexity about this thing mm, to choose which uh, samples so that is why framing is very very key point here as a remedy we seek a sampling frame which has the property that we can identify every single element and include any in our sample so regarding or depending upon the sampling frame we can decide every single element and include any in any in our sample the sampling frame must be representative of the population so sampling frame must be representative of the population 
So we are going to start this part about probability sampling. These are the topics. These are types. So we will try to discuss more about this in the next video. Just we have started about the basic things about sampling and we will try to carry out this whole topic in two or three videos. So if you have any doubt, please let me know till now and try to go through the context also. Okay. Thank you.